Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then hi, I'm Anusha. I'm currently a CT2, that's co-trainee year two in the specialty psychiatry here in London. So today's video is something that I've seen a lot in the world of YouTube. I think Vogue does it a lot. That's what's in my handbag, what's in my carry bag, what's in my travel bag, what's in my beauty bag. So I thought I'm gonna make a doctor edition of the same. So what's in a doctor's bag? And if you've ever wondered what does a psychiatry trainee carry to their workplace, then you've clicked on the right video. Video. I'm not saying that every psychiatry training carries the same but this is something that I carry every day to my work and I wanted to give a heads up to you guys that a lot of the things that I carry to my workplace are the things that I've bought off Amazon so I'm going to put down links of everything that I mentioned if I can find in my description box so without wasting any more time let's get into the video first up all right so I carry two backpacks to my work so the first one is this one and the second one is it's a handbag let's start off with the first one so this one is my everyday go-to work backpack. I absolutely love how classic it looks with all the golden zipper details on it. So this is how the bag looks. It's got a few slots over here on both the sides and it's also got a zipper deal here in the front. This bag is from Amazon. It's an absolutely amazing bag because I love how, you know, thick and supporting the back straps are. I love this bag. It's been so useful. It's been almost a year to me using this backpack. If you want this backpack, then I'll link it down below in my description box. It's very cheap. So I'll put the link down below if you want to buy it. So let's start off from what's in the main compartment of the bag. So first up, we've got my work laptop. So basically all the employees in my trust were handed out work laptops because of COVID. Fortunately or unfortunately, I'm glad that happened because it's made working quite easier. You can work from anywhere. Nothing more to say about it. So yeah, this was given to me by my trust. Second thing in the bag obviously has to be the laptop charger. Again, nothing exciting to discuss about it. It's your basic laptop charger. Next up, I've got the headsets. It makes it quite easy to join into a lot of meetings, which are held over Microsoft Teams these days. Also to, you know, if I want to make a call or have an appointment, which is online with a patient and their family. So yeah, so this is quite useful because even if you've got other people in the room, if you've got a common working space office, then you can, you know, kind of zone out by putting on your headphones. So then I've got a notebook. So a lot of times I take notes so yeah so every time i'm on call or if i'm seeing a patient and i want to jot down information before i put in their electronic notes or if i'm on call and i receive a call regarding a patient so put it to put in patient details or if i've examined the patient and to put in the findings of the patient so yeah i've got this notebook then i wanted to show you the bag so i've got like these compartments over here so i've got three sets of pens these are actually my favorite pens i bought them from india it's the montex mega top pen i'm running out of these every time i go to india yeah, I literally end up buying like 50 to 60 pens and I bring them here. I don't know, I just love the flow of these pens. So yeah, I've got three pens and you never have enough pens. Trust me, the number of times people lose out on pens or end up borrowing from others. So yeah, I've got a set of pens over there. So next up, I've got this tiny little diary. It's from the brand Ryman. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's a 2021 diary. So I've got my entire rota written up over here. So every time if I want to make some swaps or I've got any appointments coming, with any of the patients I write them in over here and it's quite a useful diary because it's so tiny so every time I go to assess a patient I have it with me in my hand so next time I want to book them in for another appointment this is pretty accessible and I can write in the information in this so the most important bit that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video which I need every day at work is my ID badge I'm going to remove the details of the hospital I'm working in currently yeah but you can see the trust I'm working in that's fine so yeah so this is my ID badge that is absolutely necessary every day I go into work. Another important thing, stethoscope. Oh, I'm matching actually. So yeah, so this is your usual Littman stethoscope. This was given to me by my dad during my beginning of MBBS. I just wanted to mention that you guys keep seeing this stethoscope. I love this blue. This is another Littman stethoscope. This is very, very special to me. I don't take it to work with me. You can see me using it in a lot of my thumbnails. This was my last present 
from my dad before I moved to UK. So when I was moving to UK in December 2018, this was the last thing he gave to me. And um, yeah, so I've got a lot of sentimental value attached to this. And um, I don't think I'll be ever using it at work. So I've just kept it packed away at home and I occasionally use it in my YouTube video thumbnails. But yeah, this is my go-to stethoscope. I take this to work every day. There was a mean-spirited comment left by someone in one of my YouTube videos saying that what does a psychiatrist do with a stethoscope? I'm gonna give this person benefit of the doubt and probably that person mistook me for being a psychologist. So psychologists are not medically trained. So basically a psychiatrist has undergone rigorous medical school training like any other specialist doctor. And after that, we choose a specialty psychiatry. So that doesn't change the fact that we are still doctors. We do uh, physically examine a patient. We do medical investigations. We do their blood. So yeah, so that's the bit of information probably you didn't know. So whenever we see a patient for the first time or if there is any medical concerns on the ward, yeah, we are doctors. So we do a physical health check for them as well. So got my stethoscope. It's quite useful when you're on call to have your own stethoscope. So there are a few extra books that I carry with me. So this is called The Little Blue Book. This was handed out to us on our day one of induction. It's actually a really useful and handy book to have when you're on call, when you're on, 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 on call, when you're on, on and on call. Does that even sound right? I, anyway, so when you're on call, this is a very useful book. It's a guidebook for medical and psychiatric emergencies and trust policies. So it's got all the trust policies of our trust written down here and things that you might expect or encounter when you're on call. And it's been written by doctors from our own trust. So yeah, I've got the physical handbook because I started before the pandemic hit us, they gave us a physical handbook handbooks but now I think you can download the PDF version on your phone so yeah so I've got it on my phone as a PDF version as well so this is a very useful book I got this which is the third edition of Oxford Handbook of Psychiatry this is an older version obviously there's an edition 4 right now that I couldn't find edition 4 on Amazon so I had to end up buying edition 3 and then Dean was still in India so he found the edition 4 in India it's the international edition so it's not on sale over here I don't know why the physical edition is not on sale on Amazon but you can download the PDF version in case you want any of these books I'm going to put down the link down below this is one book I don't carry every day but this is something I mentioned in my previous video as well it's a very very useful book if you are a new trainee starting out in psychiatry for the first time who doesn't have any kind of psychiatry experience like I didn't um, this is one book I found very useful it was recommended to me by my previous to previous clinical supervisor basically my first clinical supervisor he said that you, you should read this this book it's very useful for international medical graduates i don't carry this every day but yeah i do carry this one and i carry this one every day in my backpack okay, so the next thing is this so this is my beauty pouch a lot of very important absolutely necessary things are in this all right first up we've got a bunch of sanitary pads very very necessary so these are the thin ones these are little thicker ones and this is the thickest one so depending on the day of menstrual cycle i'm on then next up i've got chargers guys chargers are something that is so so needed when you're working a long shift you don't want to be in a position where you've lost battery on your phone so i've got two sets of chargers i've got one which is for my apple watch i've got a charger for that and the second one is my iphone charger next up i've got hand cream very very necessary i mean given the pandemic the amount of times i wash my hands every day or use the antiseptic gel at work it really dries out my skin like my skin has started looking like I'm a 50 year old lady so yeah I really need this absolutely love this brand it's Aveeno daily moisturizing hand cream nourishes normal to dry hands and I'm somebody who's got very sensitive skin so every time I try a new product I end up having rashes this brand has really been my best friend this is my third moisturizer that I've bought so yeah love this hand cream next up I've got a sanitizer so it's citrus and aloe vera sanitizer I didn't buy this this is from the restaurant Balthazar so we went for dinner in December and they had this kept on each table and I knew that was the last day before UK went back in lockdown so I was like you know I need to take a memory from 2020 the last outdoor dinner plan before the country went back in lockdown I don't 
know if these were kept there for people to take it home or not on each table. I just picked it up. So I've got my sanitizer from there. I've got another ID. So because we work between different sides, this ID is for another hospital side that is in my trust. Then got a mask, cloth mask. This is from the brand Pigs. Yeah, these guys are not sponsoring my video, but if you're watching my video, then do reach out to me. Maybe we can work something out. So I love this mask. It's so soft and nice. I mean, you can never have enough masks in your bag. Then got a few band-aids for emergency. Got two chapsticks. One is, I think, berry and one is peach. So depending on my mood, got two chapsticks. And they are slightly tinted. So in case I've forgotten to apply some lip tint, then I can use this at work. Then I've got a bunch of hair ties. You can never have enough of these. I was on call last last weekend and Laura was with me. And Laura, if you're watching this video, she didn't have a hair tie and I gave her one. So yeah, you can never have enough hair ties. I literally keep losing so many of these at work. Then I've got a small hair tie kind of a thing just to pull my hair back if I've got my hair open. Then I've got TikTok hairpin. Got this basically you can hang your ID here, plug it. Like, you know, you can hang it over here to your pocket and you can hang your ID here and have a set of keys and you know, it, it pulls so you can then unlock the door without having to bend. Then I've got a tiny travel size perfume. This is so useful when your girl is on a night shift because trust me, I don't want to be smelling bad at the end of the night shift. So I've got a tiny little travel size tester perfume. This is from Chanel. I didn't buy it guys. I think when I was buying my shades, I got a few of these testers for free from the store. So yeah, I've got a few of those in my beauty pouch. Then lastly, I've got floss. I did not know the importance of flossing till I had really bad toothache in the month of December and I was on call then. This was around Christmas, New Year's and it was so painful and I was so scared to get my root canal done. And in January, I finally got an appointment. Guys, the importance of living in India when you have toothache, I completely, completely value that now because if I had toothache right now, I would go to a hospital and be seen by a dentist right freaking away. And that's not how it works over here. You literally have to wait for your appointment. So I got an appointment three weeks later. So they did a filling and I value the importance of flossing since then. And I floss once every day. Yeah, so after meal, absolutely necessary or even on nights. Then I've got this key. This key opens all doors, all security doors in the trust. So yeah, very, very crucial and important keep digging in guys there are so many slots in here so i've got another pouch here where i've got my home keys if you know this is the trivisard cup i bought this from a 934 quarter platform in king's cross so big harry potter fan going to the side compartments here we've got the umbrella. If you're living in the UK, you know that the lovely British weather is something that you cannot trust. So one time it might be really sunny and the next moment it might be raining. If you've been watching my videos, I do not use artificial lights anymore for my videos. I always sit across the window and it's a natural sunlight and you can keep seeing in the videos that I'm suddenly extra bright and suddenly I'm not so bright in the videos. So yeah, it's because the sun keeps playing hide and seek with the clouds. It might be gloomy one minute and it's bloody sunny the next and then it's raining so got my trustworthy umbrella there then in the side pocket i've got my canister this is actually a coffee mug but people who know me know that i don't drink coffee because that upsets my tummy so this is a coffee mug but i end up using it as a teacup so i drink lots and lots of tea at work i either have infused caffeine free tea or i have green tea then we've got the front pocket so in the front pocket uh-huh so I've got this tiny little pouch. So this was given to me by one of the trauma nurses, Dawn, in my previous trust in South End University Hospital for Christmas. So yeah, so this is very cute. I like it. It's actually supposed to be used to keep all the change, but I do not carry my wallet to work. Um, yeah, that's something you will not see in what's in my bag video. I do not carry my wallet at all whatsoever. And that's because I'm just scared that, you know, either someone is going to steal it off me or I'm going to lose it so i've got my apple watch and my iphone which has all my cards in apple pay wallet so i can just tap and go so don't need wallet actually unless i have to show my id somewhere and for that i've got my work id so yeah so i've got my very useful apple airpods need this whenever i'm traveling or if i've got something i want to listen to or tune into or when i'm traveling back so yeah very very useful and then i've got obviously oyster card your girl doesn't know 
how to drive. I'm still trying to figure that bit out. I did take my theory test last year. Then I started taking a few lessons, driving lessons, and then UK went back in lockdown. So I need to wrap that up this year. But yeah, so till then got my best friend, public transport, as uh, got the Oyster card, which I use every day. Then this is another pouch, which is in the front pocket. Like you saw, I just removed it. So in this, I've got paracetamol. This is something which is so necessary at work. I have random headaches on random days or random body ache or if I'm on my period. So I've got painkiller and it's also very useful if you've got a colleague who's having a headache and they need it. So got that. Acai. So these are from Holland and Barrel. Few supplements few more supplements again some supplements from holland and barrel i don't know guys if these things work or not i just take the supplements anyway i don't want to be looking back regretting that i didn't look after my body skin or hair like i'm going into my 30s very soon so i really want to be looking after myself then got a few surgical masks like i said in today's day and age, you cannot have enough masks in your bag. All right, so that's all that's there in the main backpack. Now we're going to move on to the other backpack. So in this handbag, we've got tea. This is the peppermint and licorice tea. It's from the brand Pukka or Puka, however it's pronounced, I don't know. Absolutely love them. I have tried almost every single flavor that they have and I go between tea boxes so freaking quickly. I have literally three or four boxes kept here. I have one kept on my desk at work. Then I've got my bottle. So this one is also from Amazon. It's got such cool doodle on it. It's obviously fading out because I wash this every day. I think this is 850 mils. So I end up drinking at least three entire bottles of this through my entire shift. You need to stay hydrated, guys. Then I have an extra cardigan. Like I mentioned, you cannot trust the British weather. And there are days when I dress up thinking it's going to be so warm and I'm not going to need anything. And then I end up feeling so cold at work so i've got an extra cardigan in my bag this is from zara i love it it goes with everything so can't go wrong with it then i've got two tiny boxes this is from the brand elephant box if i'm not mistaken it's steel it's got dry fruits this one is still there i've not finished it so i've got some walnuts in them and some almonds at the base some pecan and if i'm in mood for some sweet then i'll take some raisins as well so i've got some snacks over there to keep munching in between then i've got this another glass bottle this is also from amazon i've got like six of these and they have got really cool cover which keeps it really cold in the summer during winters i ended up taking lemon water in this and come summer i'm gonna start taking a lot of juices and smoothies in this finally we've got my tiffin box so this is my lunch box i know it might look heavy because it's glass i like taking in this because it's quick to pop it in a microwave oven at work and heat my food and it's you know good size i do end up taking salad also sometimes in this then if i do that then i take my sauce in this tiny one look at it i love it i love it this is also from amazon i actually got a whole set of i think eight or nine of different sizes and different shapes of glass lunch or meal boxes and then i got this one which is like fork on one side and spoon on the other all right last and the most important thing that i carry to work is my phone obviously need it and myself so yeah we've reached to the end of this video i hope this was an interesting one it's not the usual informative video that I make but I thought it would be a fun one and I wanted to take a break from the usual clap series that I was doing I'll get back to clap series in my subsequent videos if you've enjoyed this video then you know the drill do give it a big thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel then please do guys I hope you're looking after yourself and your loved ones and I'll see you in the next one bye